Don't try it, don't try it, no, 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 don't try it, don't try it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, may I present myself? I am uh, Dimi and I'm doing a vlog uh, at my uh, sheepyard. So I have a sheepyard. So if you are into sheep, if you are into sheep dogs, if you are in outlook, uh, outdoor living, outdoor cooking, and you know, all the things you can do in nature and can do in outdoor, welcome to my channel. So if you like that channel, uh, please subscribe and click on the little bell so you have the notifications. And I put some things in the description as well. So uh, welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy yourself. Thank you very much. See you and enjoy the vlog. So welcome again. Like I told you, um, welcome to this channel. Welcome in my vlog. So I will tell you a little bit more from uh, where I do my vlog. Um, I will try to do a daily vlog, but I can only promise maybe two or three videos a week for starting because this is all new for me. So um, I will try to do my best uh, to do daily vlogs, but uh, maybe let's start with uh, two or three videos a week and we will see where, where, where we are uh, going with uh, this channel and how many people are interested in the things I do in my vlog and the things I do in my spare time. So, like I told you, I'm Dimi and I have like a, yeah, how should I tell it? A little sheep yard. So I breed sheep for, uh, I breed sheep, okay? I'm sorry I don't speak uh, English. I, uh, English is not my, uh, my native language. We are in Belgium here, so uh, normally I speak Flemish, but uh, for the vlog I will try to do it in English, so it can be understood from all people all over the world. So um, basically, I'm in my spare time. I'm I have I breed sheep, okay? I breed pedigree sheep, so that means that uh, all the sheep are controlled by an organization in the UK. And all my, my sheep are um, have a pedigree, so they are 100% pure blood. So and here in Belgium, I'm breeding a sheep. I'm breeding a breed that you don't see a lot over here in Belgium. We are momently uh, around 28 breeders all over the country, and I am one of them. Uh, I don't have many. But I do have enough because my yard isn't that big enough to have a lot of sheep. So let's start with the beginning. I will show you the entrance. I will show you the entrance. Okay, if you love sheepdog as well, you're in the right channel because uh, there she is. That's my little sheepdog. She helps me uh, to drive the sheep. Uh, in and out the yard and if I go in the fields with my sheep she helps me getting and putting the sheep together so this is one part of my yard so I can let the sheep graze here because inside the sheep yard I don't have a lot of grass because they are walking too much on it and the grass is not having the possibility to grow uh, fast enough so I let them graze on this field here as you can see around two or three hours a day so they have enough um, grass to graze and they are staying healthy let's say it like that so this is open for the public, so I'm, I'm, they are letting me use this field. Uh, if I can supervise it when I'm here with the dogs or with the sheep. So they are letting me use this. And in fact, 
the entrance of my sheep yard is right between those things there that's the entrance where you see the dog okay so let's go and have a look inside like every sheep like every sheepyard uh, you need a name for your pedigree and mine is the Lums Lounge it's right here Lums Lounge but I need to recolor it a little bit because this was burned into the wood and it's worn out a little bit because I got this last year from a friend of mine so I need to redo it a little bit with some black paint because the letters are fading away as you can see okay so to be all secure I close the little gate because otherwise the sheep will try to run away without me this is like uh, my little man cave you know I have a little shed over here so where I storage as you can see all the all my stuff I need it's a little bit dark right, right now but you know as I enter I don't know if it's going to be clear no it isn't it's a little bit dark in here I don't have any lights in here so but I have a little uh, refrigerator here where I keep my drinks and everything store it cold and if you go outside I little I made a little lounge area here as you can see where I can sit by the way all the things you see on the, the sheepyard I all made them by myself I all made it by hand and I all made it uh, myself with scrap wood and, and pallets and you know whatever I could find so I have a little stove you know outside stove to heat the place a little bit up in the winter time if it gets cold and I have a little I have a barbecue here and it comes with the tripod over here the tripod I can put a tripod over it and I can do a little barbecue normally here are my herbs I always keep my herbs here but I had a little accident last week one of my sheep came into the yeah into this area and he ate <laughs> he ate all the the herbs that I had so now I would like to introduce you to my sheep uh, I have one ram one male sheep and I have two females last week I had two lambs a male and a female but I sold them to another breeder because they were old enough to to go outside from from the parents from the mother taken away from the mother so I sold her last week <clears throat> I sold the couple uh, last week so the lambs are not here anymore so I only have one male and I only have two females at the moment because now in September I will put the male with the females again and I will uh, breed with the sheep for having lambs next year in January February around sometime sheep they need five months and two weeks to have lambs so if I put the ram in September with the females I will have lambs somewhere end of January begin February okay so let's meet the sheep for the next shots I will be behind the camera so I hope the audio is uh, very good so you can hear me clearly but I will be behind uh, the the camera let me show you maybe if I can turn this down like this okay we will start with this little big guy here that's the ram that's the male sheep he weighs about 125 kilograms and sometimes he can be a little bit angry because he always pushes me but normally he's always very friendly but it's a ram so you have to be careful as you will see in a while he will always make my 
my pants dirty and you know he can be a little bit you see look there you go sometimes he's a little bit aggra aggressive he's not too aggressive but he likes the attention attention so I have to cuddle him a lot so okay I will take a few shots from the oh. sheep now so here he is that's Hercule that's our male sheep as you can see you know he's always oh. interested he doesn't like camera so sometimes he's a little bit aggressive there's the sheepdog there's Dolly 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 Oi. Dolly Dolly so I will let uh, the dog now Wait. Hey, hey. don't try it don't try it no 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 don't try don't try hey come hop, hop. Now he will be angry. And there are the females. That's one. She's called Amelie. Yet, come. Yet, sit, sit down, lay, lay down, lay down. Hey, there we go. Hey, hey, lay down, lay, lay down. That's a girl. Lay down, stay, stay easy. And there's the other one. So as you can see, hey, 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 hey. As you can see, there's not a lot of grass here because they are walking too much on it. So, turn the camera again. So, as you can see, there's not a lot of grass over here, and enough. That'll do. There's not a lot, a lot of grass over here because uh, they walk too much on it. So, the grass is not growing very fast because yeah. And now we have a dry, very dry season. So it's getting very hot and a very dry season and it's not good for the for the grass as you can see I have two big in the back I have two big uh, trees over there there he comes Ella, Ella. go 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 as you can see I have two large trees over there so if I go there you can follow me There's another bench I made myself because if it's too hot outside in the sun I like sitting here on my bench you know just like that there we go and then I can put my feet on the table and watch my uh, my animals run around watch my sheep and this is the place I have to relax myself as you can see he's always already here you see he's always very curious in what I'm doing and this is the place where I relax when I'm finished work and my uh, main job is uh, I'm a sales representative so I do a lot of desk work and I drive a lot in the car uh, to see my customers and this is the place where I can you know when I come home from work in the evening I can take my dog I can come over here I can relax here I can have some time for myself you know being away from home being away from the missus you know being away from daily the daily slumber you know from work and everything stress and everything and I like coming over here and relaxing here on my sheepyard looking at the animals being busy with my dog and you know doing things you do when you have a 
place to come to rest. So I hope in the next few days I can make another video in uh, how the dog is doing and how the sheep are doing. And then I will explain how I feed them, what do I give them as feed and how I train my dogs. Because normally I have two dogs, you only saw one now, but I still have a male dog. Uh, he's not always around here, so sometimes he stays at home, sometimes he stays with one of my daughters. Because I live in an apartment and I don't have a lot of, a lot of space, so I can only hold one dog at home at the apartment uh, but I will show you that in a later video and okay I hope uh, for my first video I made it interesting and I don't know it's up to you so uh, maybe if you watch my next videos uh, I will be loading up somewhere in the next couple of days so I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and I really hope seeing you back again in one of my next videos. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a great time uh, during the Corona virus and everything, you know, keep healthy. And uh, okay, see you later. If you like it, don't forget to uh, subscribe, subscribe. And uh, if you want to know things, put it in the comments, you know, you know the drill. So. Uh, Thanks, see you next time, bye bye.